Hi all, Retro Tech Chris here again. Well, once again, it is the month of December, and that means December. This year, I'm going to keep things short and sweet, and I'm going to show you my fleet of compact LTE 5000 systems networked in MS-DOS wirelessly. So without further ado, let's go. So here you can see all of the computers nice and folded down on the table. And I do have a variety of LTE 5000 models that we will be looking at today. It has been said by a couple of different folks that the LTE 5000 series is the best MS-DOS gaming laptop. And that's largely due to the video resolution found on the 5000 and the great sound support. Not all of my systems are pure 5000s, but at least one or two of them are. Most of them actually have 800 by 600 resolution, and you can see the processor speed varies all the way from 75 megahertz up to 150 megahertz. The LTE 5000 series does have some cool accessories, including this very rare inner bay zip drive that you see here, which is a zip 100 drive. Instead of a zip drive, you can also swap in a 2x, 4x, or 6x CD-ROM drive. Here you can see I have a 6x drive, and this particular drive also supports playing burned discs. Not all of them do. I think that over time it gets more difficult for them to support this capability. And of course, if you don't have a zip drive or a CD-ROM drive, you can always put a floppy drive in the multi-bay slot of a compact LTE 5000 series. The LTE 5000 series does have Opti chipsets, and the system memory ranges from 8 megabytes to 80 megabytes fully expanded. All LTE 5000 series systems also have Cirrus Logic video, and that video does have Visa support. All systems do support at least a 4 gigabyte hard drive, and if you play the right tricks, you can even put in a larger capacity drive. Let's look at the network configuration. So in my case, I use the Cisco Aeronet 350 wireless adapters, which are PCM CIA adapters. These adapters do have a direct sequence spread spectrum radio that is 802.11b compliant, which is of course an older standard. Here you can see me booting up an MS-DOS where the wireless card and disk drivers have been loaded and the card has been recognized as a radio in socket zero. We can also load up Windows 3.1, or in my case, it's actually Windows 3.11 for workgroups. If we load up the file manager, we can see that we can map to a network share, and this allows us to seamlessly share files with the LTE 5000 computer. I do have a full video available for those who want to set up a Cisco Aeronet 350 wireless card in MS-DOS and Windows 3.11. You can also configure this card with a packet driver as I have done here. From there we can launch a DOS web browser such as Arachne, and using a proxy such as ProtoWeb or the old net, we can surf the old internet. And I do have a full tutorial for anybody who wants to configure wireless web browsing in MS-DOS. Let's have a look at a couple of games. And I'm actually going to cheat a little bit and load up Windows 95. Doing this, we can easily configure IPX networking for use in a DOS window.
All right. Well, that's what I had for you today. Hope you enjoyed it and happy December. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.